Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create a static page for your WordPress blog. Very simple, very easy. Okay, before I get started I just want to let you know that I'm currently using for this demonstration WordPress version 3.0.1 with the thesis theme version 1.8. Now, what I'm about to teach you should work with any version of WordPress, past, present, or future, any version of the thesis theme, or any theme at all. Okay, it's a very basic, simple little thing that we're about to do. Okay, now, before I show you what a static page is, let me just show you what a static page is not. Now, I'm going to click right here on the Home tab. I've got a navigation bar up here with only one nav one tab in it and you can go and we'll look here in the address bar in the Google Chrome browser and you can see I'm at the home page now on this blog the blog posts are all on this home page okay you can see test post number nine eight six okay so as you add posts to this home page the posts end up at the top or if this is a sticky post, which I explain in another video, if this top post is a sticky post, the post will end up going right underneath that. But in any event, as you add posts to your blog, the page content changes so it's not static. I'm going to show you how to create a static page, and let me get to that. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, and you can see there it says the word pages. This is, that means this is a page widget. Underneath it, there's a category widget, a meta widget, a tags widget down here. We're going to focus on the pages widget. And what the pages widget does is list any and all pages, typically, that are in your blog. These are the static pages. Let me give you an example of a static page. I'm going to click on test page number one, vitamins. And there it is, test page number one, vitamins. It's got a totally unrelated graphic bunch of Latin text which means nothing but here's the point this page will look the same next month or next year as long as we don't edit the content the content is static unlike that home page where the content changes as you add blog posts okay so let me click back on the home page here and now I'm going to click on this tab in my Google Chrome browser up here in the upper left and this will bring me to the dashboard for the Jim's Max GXL marketing team where I've already logged in now, to create a page, very simple. I'm going to see where it says Pages. There's a little down arrow. I'm going to click on Add New. And then I'm going to enter in the title. Let's just call it um, Test Page Number 2. And this will be about, uh, let's just say bicycles. Keep it real simple. Type in some English text. This is about bicycles. Okay, so I'm going to hit return, and now I'm just going to right-click, and I'm going to paste in some text, which I copied before I started the video. So that's not a big deal. Okay, so we've got the title of the page here. We've got the content of the page here. On the right-hand side, you can see there's this little tab, and it deals with page attributes. Now, we're going to keep things real simple. We're gonna, there is no parent. This is going to be the parent page. There's not going to be sub-pages right now, and this is not going to be the sub-page of another page. It's just a regular old page, and when you want to do that, no parent. Template, in most instances, just use the default template, and ordering has to do with the order on the navigation bar, which we haven't even created yet, so don't even worry about that. So basically, you can skip this to create a new page. Just click the Publish button. Very easy. We're going to mouse back up here, and the title of the blog is Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. I'm going to right-click, get the drop-down menu, left-click where it says Open Link in New Tab, and there's the new tab. I'm going to click here. Everything looks the same, but if I focus down here where it says Pages, you can see Test Page Number 2 Bicycle has been created, apparently, at least the link. So let's click on the link and see if the page has been created. But a boom you've got the page test page number two is created it's a static page now why isn't it in the navigation bar at the top like you see on a typical 
website. Well, that's because I haven't created the navigation bar. In a typical website, you'll have um, a home page, an about page, a products, a services page, a contact page. In this case, you've got four pages, about page, test space number one vitamins, test page number two bicycles, WordPress videos, etc. I'm going to add these pages or pages like it to a navigation bar, show you how to do it with WordPress using Thesis Theme 1.8 in my next video. So just be patient. Thanks for watching.